Hello, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to give you some tips for navigating the library's homepage so that you know where you need to go to find information for your class assignments. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start from the library's homepage, which you can find by going to library.uww.edu. We're going to focus primarily on the search box in the center of the screen, but I do want to point out this Ask a Librarian link in the upper right corner. If you have any questions about what we're looking at today or research for your other classes, please feel free to click on that and you'll be taken to links for the reference department's email address and phone number, as well as a 24-7 chat link so that you can get in touch with a librarian at any time. So let's get started with the center search box. This link, um, the default, will take you to something called Research at UWW. And this is a new tool we have. And what it does is it allows you to search across many article databases, as well as the library catalog. So you can find newspaper articles, scholarly articles, books, DVDs, and a lot more all at one time. It's a really great place to start your search. And as you need more specialized research, I'll give you some tools to find that information as well. So let's pretend that I'm writing a paper on marketing and consumer behavior. To do that, I'm just going to put my search terms here. You'll notice that I put quotes around consumer behavior. And that's to tell research at UWW that I want to find both of those words next to one another. If you don't do that, you'll still get results, but they're going to be much more relevant this way. So when I press search, it's going to take me to the research at UWW homepage. And like I said, what we're doing is we're searching across articles. So on the left side, you can limit to peer reviewed journals. You can also see that you can limit to books under refine my results. You've got a lot of other options here. So depending on what your needs are, you might want to pay attention to that. If you don't want to search all of that at once, you can change the drop down to just search articles to just search books. And when you search the UW System Libraries catalog, that will search books and DVDs in all the UW schools, which you can request for free just by using the request button on any of the titles. So that's what UW, research at UWW does. I'm going to go back to the library's homepage because while it's a, a really nice resource, it's not great for everything. If you just want to search for books in the library catalog and you're used to the old format, you might want to use the Books and Media tab. Now, when you do this, it's really important that you pay attention to where it says Use and or Not. That is really important because if you don't do that, you won't get any results at all. So if I did my search of marketing and consumer behavior without the and, it's going to tell me that it could not res retrieve search results. So just pay attention to what it's telling you to do, and then you'll be able to find relevant books and DVDs and other things in our library catalog. As I mentioned, research at UWW does include the library catalog, so you don't have to just go to the second tab. If there's a specific database you want, you can click the Articles and Databases tab. Some of the most commonly used ones are listed here. If you scroll all the way down, though, you can go to All Databases. And you'll see on the right side, there's this Databases by Subject box. You can go directly to Business Databases, and this is where you'll find marketing research, advertising tools, different things like that. So some of the things that aren't in research at UWW that you might want to look at after you've found articles, you want to come here. I will give you some tips for searching these library databases in one of our other videos. But just for now, know that this is where you can go to find more subject-specific resources. The next tab on the library homepage is for finding journals or other periodicals like magazines and newspapers. If there's a specific title that you want and you want to find out if the library has it, you can just type the title in the search box. So if I'm looking for the journal Management Science, I can put that in the search box and it will take me to something called the Journal Holdings List. 
Now what this does is it tells you if we have access to something and in what format. It's a little confusing, so it's important that you pay attention to the information that's presented. If anything comes above the first database link, like these two lines here, it's telling you what the library has access to in print in the library. Then you'll see occasionally a number of database links. That's telling you in which databases we have access to a specific resource. The dates underneath those links are telling you the dates available in the database listed above. Occasionally, you'll also see something called an embargo. In this case, we've got a line that says most recent five years not available. And that means that the most current issues aren't going to be found in that database. So if you're looking for an article from 2013, you'll want to use Highwire Press and Forms because it does not have that embargo. Whereas if you're looking for something from the 1960s, you would want to use Business Source Premier or ABI Informed Complete because they have the older ones. If you have any questions about what we've covered today and you're still not sure how to find specific resources for your assignment, you have a couple options. You can go to this Guides tab along the top of the page and click Course Guides. If you limit to business on the left, you'll be taken to a page with all of the guides relevant to the College of Business and Economics. You can see we've got a few for specific subject areas like accounting and business law, as well as guides for various classes. And so you might want to check and see if your class has a guide that would have resources that are relevant to your specific assignment. You can also feel free to get in touch with me. My contact information is on the screen. And you can get in touch with me in whatever way is most convenient for you. I do have office hours in Kobe as well as an office in the library. But email and phone is also perfectly fine. So feel free to get in touch with me if you have questions. And happy searching.